Atasso headquarters at the Mlago Hospital Complex is where we found Dokas Ndagiri. Ndagiri is 50 years old and has been living with HIV AIDS for the last 32 years after contracting it at 18 years. I contracted HIV and AIDS after getting raped by a man when I was helping my friend shift from her house back to the village. The man came into my room with a towel wrapped around his waist. He dropped it and said he wanted to sleep with me. I refused telling him that I am a virgin, but he forced himself on me. As she had been instructed, Ndagide never told anyone about this incident. Shortly after, Ndagide fell in love with a man who wanted to marry her. They were both advised by the church to first test for HIV. When I went with my fiancé to get tested, my results came back HIV positive while his returned negative. Consequently, the wedding was cancelled two weeks to her big day. We had just finished the introduction ceremony and we were getting ready for the wedding in two weeks' time. We were told to cancel it because an HIV positive person could not marry an HIV negative person at that time. Ndagide felt like her life had come to an end. And every time I looked at a person, I thought I was going to die. My skin developed rashes and cracked badly. I got scars that I still have up to this day. She didn't even inform her family about her HIV status. I thought I was going to die and stopped eating food. Remember, I could not get married because I was HIV positive. It's only the church that knew my predicament. My family only informed the guests that the wedding had been cancelled due to shortage of money. But Ndagiri was advised to seek out TASO, an organization that had been established at that time to offer assistance to people who tested positive for HIV AIDS. The counselor told me that I was not the first person and would not be the last person to contract HIV. I was then strengthened by his words. They gave me appointments for my treatment which I abided by. They also gave me food and beddings and made me feel like a normal person again. Getting support and medication from Tasso helped Ndagiri to get her life back on track. In 1994, I met a man with whom we shared a positive status. We got married and I had an HIV negative baby. I didn't think that I could make it to 50 years, but here I am. Tasso took me back to school to study. Now I'm one of the volunteers here, and I offer counseling to people living with HIV. But Ndagide points out that living an HIV-positive life requires dedication and living openly about your status. I have friends who committed suicide when they tested positive for HIV. To them... Death was better than the humiliation of having HIV. I think the reason why people don't want to reveal their status is because they want to sleep with different people. So they don't want people to see them come to Tasso to get medication. To those who have yet to test positive, Dagiri also offers some advice. Let them get tested and then live responsibly because life is very precious and cannot be bought. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission report of 2021, there are currently 1.4 million Ugandans living with HIV AIDS. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.